shows out. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for coming. Sure. Yeah, you're so sure. tall. <laughs> yeah, you're so Thank tall. You. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How y'all doing? Y'all can say how you doing. Now, how was your time here in Philadelphia? Uh, well, it was great. I played with Charles Barkley. Ooh. You know, uh, that took 10 years. That might have sent me to rehab. <laughs> you, know? Uh, you know, Charles used to come in, and he, back in like 92, he'd come in with a hot case of sausage, right, from McDonald's, and we'd be running up and down the floor, and he'd come in and he'd wrap the hot case of sausage with butter and syrup and put the, uh, the sausage in it and roll it up Ooh. and be yelling to squish it, and all the butter and the syrup be coming out all one time, and then uh. he'd just be like, Run the floor, you lazy jokers. He was running on the stationary bike one yeah. mile an hour. I'd never practiced, yeah. you know? And just be spitting and pancakes be coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Run the floor, that's why we can't win games. But uh, this, so that's my Charles Barkley. Yeah. Uh, but he was uh, one of the greatest guys I know, man. Still to this day, he's one of the instruments that helped me stay sober and helped me stay on the straight and narrow. Calls me up, not often, but when he does, it means a lot. Yeah. And he does a lot for us down in uh, Jupiter, Florida. Now, okay, now, you you know, you left here. Yep. You you went to the Nets. You flourished like we, we were talking about. And you got signed in big NBA contract. Right. Yeah, and um, what, 90, $90 million, correct? Mm, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking for no money, Jason. I'm just, <laughs> you know, you know, and, you know, everything, we, we all know what happened let's let's revisit um the shooting death of your your limo driver or the, or the driver what, what happened with that situation uh, well first of all i want to apologize to his family uh, to yeah. his sister he didn't have any children uh apologize to my family and all the people that uh counted on me uh it's not an hour that goes by that you don't think of that i think about it all the time uh, I went with the, you guys know, both my sisters died of AIDS. Yeah. I adopted their kids when I was in college. They had children, and I brought them to a Globetrotter game. Mm -hmm. And when we were at the Globetrotter game, after I saw a couple of players that were playing there that used to play with me, and I said, hey, you guys want to come back to the house? Because I know, you know if you're playing with the Globetrotters after the NBA, you're not doing that well. And I said, you know, I'll take care of you. And um, we went out to get something to eat. And mm -hmm. while we were eating there, the uh, owner of the restaurant called a limousine for us, and Mr. Christopher came over, and uh, I asked him to come in and eat, and he ate, and he had a good time. And instead of, when we drove us back to the house, I drove back to the house, but when we got back to the house, instead of showing, you know, Picassos or stuff, we showing shotguns, because I had a skeet machine, yeah. and we were in my bedroom where they were locked up and just passing, and, and didn't even know Mr. Christopher was in there, and just passed it up, and the gun went off, hit Mr. Christopher and uh, killed yeah. him. Yep. And then I did the cowardly act of, you know, who you're around, just running around, uh, and I take responsibility. I went and jumped in the swimming pool. Yeah. You know, don't remember much after that, but uh, just did a cowardly act in trying to obstruct justice. And now, it up. you know, my, my mother, you know, passed away like a year, year ago, and I still relive, you know, that and just grieving sure. through that, 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 that stuff. How, how are you grieving through you know, you know, that death, and I know a lot of people look at you like, oh, he's an NBA player, this stuff happened, but you're also human. Like, how are you, how are you doing through the grieving process? Uh, I didn't do well at first. Um, I didn't do well at all. I drank and took a lot of Ambien to go to sleep at night and hopefully wake up one day and it's a bad nightmare. Yeah. But then, you know, you wake up and it's still there, and alcohol didn't help because now I'm sick all day. So uh, I had uh, Curtis Martin, the Hall of Fame running back, who's my spiritual director, my spiritual guy, and uh, Charles Oakley and Chris Mullen. Uh, I lost my mind. I just actually left Manhattan, went up to a mountain, bought a cabin, started living by myself and just drinking moonshine. Wow. And they came in and kicked the door down and said, hey, man, you got to go to treatment. And I went to treatment and I went down. I was like, wow, this is okay. But, you know, I finished 30 days. My, many players finished treatment and I wanted to never quit on something. But, it, you know, just staying, I didn't like the way that ran. So when I came out, I went back home. And they said, Jay, you can't come back home. You got to go back there. You need to change your environment. So go down there and start your own place. So I volunteered at a few places. Yeah. Then I started my own uh, place called Rebounds, a better solution. And um, I, I work, and you ask me, how do I cope? Yeah. I cope because we do outdoor adventure therapy. Every this day. Is at, so, at the Rebound Yeah, Institute. at Rebound. We do, you know, we jump out of airplanes, we snorkel, we scuba, we, uh, uh, we wave run, we hydro board. We do this to break down barriers, overcome anxiety, build self-esteem, and then give you a new... Uh, activity to go back that you're addicted to. So you ask me, how do I cope about this? I cope by staying there at this institute 
you know, at rebound for how, about 17 hours a day. How long have you been at, at rebound? Uh, I've been I've season. been at this for 29 months now. Okay. Um, and you know, working on this, and you know, I think the defense mechanism cue is that I'm helping people with their problems. Like I'm not mm -hmm. good with my own children, you know, because I've hurt them. They got to go to school, and when I come back on a show like this, uh, they got to go to school, and people that didn't know now they go back, yeah. so they're not happy with me. And but if you send me an 18 year old and who's hooked on opioids. You know, for some reason, through the grace of God, that cures them. You know, we get them better, man. And it's just like we only take seven people at a time. We, we're a big house on the water, and I just stay there. And I can't leave that. That's my realm. That's my life right now. Uh, what Ellen Smith is, she's like, Jay, don't say that. Uh, and I said, but, but it is. I'm not ready to leave. Yeah. Uh, God has put me in this place right now with my purpose. And, you know, we've had over 75 people come through the program, only two people have to return you know and that's big in this wow. in this energy i just through the grace of god he has given me a talent and a, and a purpose where you know the the needs of the world is going one way and my skills and ability is going this way right where it crashed is god's purpose and i truly believe that's what i'm doing man we really do a good job down there and i love it i'm there 16 hours wow. 17 hours a day jason if people are watching and they want to be a part of the rebound institute how how can they do that um it's a small place uh so you just call i'm probably the guy picking up the phone we got okay. a big staff but uh it's very personal and because it's the accountability and the alumni when you leave i talk to every single alumni every day through this app marco polo video message then yeah. we got a big group chat and that's what it needs because i need it. accountability I need structure, so I think you call one eight seven seven two rebound, yeah. uh, and I know that's too many numbers. No, but uh, listen, leave the D off for being drunk. Google but, uh, it. We thank you for we thank you for rebound. coming yeah. to the to the queue and being honest right. ab about your 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 journey. And mm -hmm. thank you for coming. We really Man, appreciate, I appreciate it. you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you know with Jason Williams right here on the queue. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.